Hey everybody, welcome back to Phantom Doctrine. Uh, we're taking out Skipper and Cable on this mission. Uh, you guys have pointed out we had two disguises available, so we'll uh, we'll try this. It's risky because if it doesn't work out and we get discovered, then <laughs> we, we don't have a lot to defend ourselves with, unfortunately. Uh, but we'll try it out and we'll see how it goes and we'll kind of get a feel for things. But I do feel stealth is generally a pretty decent approach. And uh, also, I'm trying to get your custom soldiers in here. But we have to wait till people are at home to be able to change their identity. And uh, nobody is eligible for that right now. We could have somebody that's working the Forger. But um, we'll just, we'll try and change them as they cycle through home base uh, in the future. So Skipper and Cable for now. But uh, yeah, let's get rocking and rolling here. Okay, Golden Isle. An enemy operative is conducting reconnaissance in the area, trying to locate our headquarters, allowing them to continue and put our operations in jeopardy. Make sure the agent never reports back. If possible, capture the trespasser for interrogation. That would be great. Kill or capture the enemy agent. Evacuate upon completion of main objectives. Okay. Now, we still don't have, like, the MK Ultra facility or anything like that. Um, so it might be tough to do much with these guys. Oh, we got multiple floors. Hold on. So is he on the he's on the second floor, it looks like? Yeah. Okay. So they're on the second floor in this middle room. So being able to spot through here would be pretty nice. Let's put somebody on south. And I don't know if the deployment actually matters, because it seems like with the disguises we just kind of show up inside. Uh, it looks like Intel here. We can just do a quick scan. We've got equipment on this one. Okay, so intel and equipment on the second floor. More equipment on the first floor. Cool little, like, evidence locker, it looks like. Hmm, okay. And what about any... Okay, we've got camera disabling going on over here. Okay. So, let's select... I guess we can select here. But I think we're just going to start inside with disguises. That seems to be the theme. Yeah, okay, we're right inside. And we're right next to stuff. And this, cool. Keep it quiet if possible. Lone enemy capture, keep it quiet if possible. Yeah, that would be great. Um, problem is, is like, we don't have any suppressed weapons yet. We don't have a lot of people with the, with the, uh, proficiencies required to equip silencers and the like. I think we do have some, but. Okay, we have intel above here. This door's locked. Is there anything in there? It's not like we have lockpicks, so it doesn't really matter. How do we get up? Where's the stairs? Stairs are all the way on this side. That is the only set of stairs. Is that you? All right. We will try and uh, take care of the cameras in the area. Although with the disguises, it's not so bad. I still think. I guess we'll see how this goes. But I feel like having. Both of our agents undercover, under-equipped, is a big risk. So I'm going to try and set this up as best I can, but... Nothing in here. It is really nice to just be able to run around wherever you want, though. Like, that, that can't be undervalued. Okay, so we're getting closer there. Skipper. Yeah, break everything. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, wait. We actually... We have stairs here. Okay. Well, we're almost at this one, so it doesn't really matter. There's intel here, though. Let's grab that. That's one of two. Oh, 
I noticed this as well. Um, loot collected. If you hit escape, you can see the summary of like what's possible to get on the level. Which is pretty nice. Instead of waiting till you get something. Do you want to take this person down or no? That's another tough decision. It's not like... If you just take everyone out, then they send patrols and stuff. There's always a trade-off. Waiting orders. Okay, up we come. Now let's um we'll start using our spotter a bit here. Jeez. Very subtle. Okay, let's see what we're working with here. So, 88, he's got a civilian in there. We could, you could actually probably want to scout multiple points of the room, but there's a lot of windows too, so. These guys are both 85s, so we can't just straight take them down, which means it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough to capture. That's what that means. Looking for intel. We've got equipment over here. Where are the evacs? Okay, that's far. Also... Far. Less far. Okay, so that's where we want to evac from. And we probably want to call that in advance. I'm looking at, like, potential options here. Breach looks like... That might have to be Jeez, the approach. Else. I'm gonna scout the back of the room. Oh, we can skip that, okay. All clear. All clear. This might be a decent guard to take down. Booster, all right. Basic. All right, so this will give us vision. Can we breach windows? Hmm. The problem is, I think if we breach, we're gonna end up killing this guy. So, We'll see if he moves. Doesn't look like he's on patrol. We don't want to go in front, I guess. He's got the vision cone. And yeah, he would reveal, even though we're disguised, I guess maybe because he's an agent. Where's this person going? Back this way. All right, let's set up for a takedown here. And I guess we could sneak in here. Even from this side. So maybe that's the play. We'll, we'll sneak in. Might have to take a shot. But Don't sneak up on me like that. even then... Well, I guess we have this, which, like, minimum damage-wise might be okay. Because you'll have awareness, right? So... Is this civilian? No, we've... No windows. I mean, window here, but... Sleep tight, baby. Bye. Let's go. Uh, we can't dispose, right? No. I'm gonna do this if I can, though. We'll just swap positions for now. Okay, so we gotta think about... Do we want to call the evac now? Okay, where's the evac again? It's this one. Alright. Okay. 
He's not moving at all, which means we can come in behind and set up this way. And the plan will be... They'll be here any minute now. The plan's gonna be this. Who's gun? So 51 minimum damage. 36 minimum damage. So either one should do it. Because they just need to be below what we're at. Jeez, I thought it was somebody else. We'll, we'll take the shot. He might move, though, after the shot. Does he? I don't know. But hopefully from here, it's enough to deal with it. I am going to call the evac now. It's going to take three turns evac to get here. And this is... We don't see anybody in this area. Can I use this? Oh, I can even spot outside. That's really cool. Let's do this. Civilian? Okay. Okay. We're gonna try this. Wake up! Don't sneak up on me like that. Okay, so now, what we want to do, we want to go for a takedown. Um, I guess I want to position myself here, though, so I can have some cover. Let's do it. Then, incapacitated. Copy team. can we pick him up? Oh. oh, it's happening! Reinforcements in three. Now, do they just swarm the room and destroy us, or what? We'll see. Whoa, what just happened there? Oh, that's weird. So I'm thinking, do we try to go to the window? I'm gonna spot this area again. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spot this because we may, I'm hoping we can get down from here. Now that I'm looking at this, is that uh, possible? Oh man, I'm worried that we're not able to. This could just be max range, though. Jeez, I thought it was somebody else. Frick. Because getting out of here is like... Where's the stairs? Way back there. Oh, we have stairs here, but like... Our, our thing will be compromised by then. Well, this will be interesting. We can protect this back door or this right side. I'm going to protect this door. Right away. Go for a spot. Just to see if anybody's beneath us. Doesn't look like it. Oh, I'm really hoping we can jump out here. Maybe we can't. I don't know. Oh, there's one. That civilian's gonna have stories to tell at home, that's for sure. Okay, the van is here.
Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so we can jump out. <laughs> we can jump out, but now... Wait. Does this mean it's on... It's on cooldown. Okay. Orders. So I think what I'm going to do... We'll drop Skipper here. Because we saw somebody run in. We don't know, however. Oh, it is it is an officer. Okay. Well, minimum should still kill. Right in the spine. Ooh, this is dirty. This is so dirty. Um... Okay, we don't see anybody anywhere. I'm gonna drop to this side. Tactical ambush set. Tactical, oh. Are they overwatching me as I dash? <laughs> Buckle up, baby. This is pretty cool. Trying to capture these guys is neat. As long as it works. Okay, let's send Reporting. Skipper first. Airstrike incoming. That's cool. Guys, we've done it. We captured an agent. This is awesome. All right. We're out of here. Now, thankfully, that floor didn't have a lot of reinforcements. Uh, otherwise, that would not have gone like that. Very cool. Okay, so now, we don't have that M MK Ultra facility yet, so I'm wondering how that's going to go down uh, with this agent. But maybe this will prompt us to get it. Training unlock covert actions. The MU-255 is a shotgun, light armor, and booster. Significantly increases movement rate for a short time. And then this capture. That's so sick. That's so sick. Cable, Skipper, great freaking job. Great job. Agent Steel Eye has been questioned and eliminated. <laughs> okay, so I guess... Okay. Uh... If we had MK Ultra, we'd have options. So capturing right now, I don't know if I guess this revealed a talent. Interrupt. Bonus experience for interrupt jobs. Alright. Alright. Okay. Let me take a look here. Hospitalized. Can't do new IDs for any of these dudes. So why why is it that I can't do new IDs for them? Do I have to? Oh, it's because I have no money. Oh, I'm cr okay. I have people here. It's I'm broke AF. <laughs> Jesus Christ Almighty. Uh, okay, okay. So we're trying to infiltrate here. Let's just get a grip on on what's happening. Uh, we have to go into s and investigate this area. Okay, we're gonna send two people on these trips to try and avoid ambushes. Secrets recovered. Enemy location infiltration successful. New information revealed. Hit me. Oh, a ton of intel. And fire and movement tactics. Okay. Cool. I just want to take a look at some of these, so... Current training, new training, insufficient funds to swap them, but... So, covert operations. Killing an enemy reduces awareness of nearby enemies. Oh, that's cool. And then you get Wembley and Cobra. Exertion and Opportunist. Confers bonus damage against suppressed characters. 
Empath, blinding laser. All right, cool. Well, we don't have the funds to do that anyways. That's fine. Uh, you did get a perk, though. Benefits of cover, maximum hit points, width of the overwatch cone, or snapshots. Uh, so I think these are going to be shots uh, on weapons that I've never used. So, like, these pistols um, and revolvers and stuff like that. I think I'm going to go hit points. It opens... Look at this. 105? That's legit. Because... Not being able to take people down is not good, in my opinion. Overwatch cone, wider radius. Let's go full cover. And then this training slot, I can't do anything yet because, again, still waiting for cash. Okay. Workshop-wise, how are we doing? We're trying to increase passive income. Uh, crafting slot, not right now. New identities being cheaper would be nice, I guess. But for 2100 it feels like, depending on how much cheaper it is, it might not be that great. Informers are discovered more frequently. Unlocks body engineering, agent stats improvement. I think that would be good, too. Okay. Oh, hold on. We have to do the analysis here. Okay, so this one's... We're waiting. Microfilm, we have everything. 10 on 10. So Olympians and Mainsail, we're looking for. MK Ultra has been a magnificent success. We only need to look at blank to determine that, but I do have concerns about the elimination rates. Snowcat informs me that we've lost a vast majority of the candidates beyond the 50th day, usually due to some biological fault or another. It's a terrible waste and enormous cost. Odd Tesseracts are already complaining that their budget have been exceeded, not just for the quarter, but the year. And I have concerns that the seventh wave and blank are taking note. Not of us, but of the drain of their ranks. We must proceed more cautiously. I'll speak with Deke Mackin on how to do so. Could be Deke Mackin. All right. Our allies in the Obsidian Eyes are getting anxious about the increasing push for legalization of controlled substances in the States. I recommend a three-pronged approach. Send Blank to Fairview House to speak with our political firebrands. We need everyone there uh, railing against the dangers of illegal drugs, including the gateway items see attached file. We're starting to pick up a little bit more now on what the code words are that really stand out. Um, Chamberlain, Avant-Garde, Splashdown, Albion Fields, nothing, nothing. Olympians, Snowcat. We have a Snowcat connection, yes. And we have this. Okay, so I wonder if this has to... I guess we're going to have to connect to both. Because we're looking for two pieces of information, right? The organization and the person. So the organization is the Olympians. Of which he belongs to. Or is it? Olympians and Mainsail. Yeah, Olympians is the organization. Mainsail's the guy. So I wonder if there's going to be different things to connect to. Let's see. So this is Paradise Lost. Or, sorry, uh, Britannicom. I don't have anything for Paradise Lost. All of them died in a plane during the Aqueduct back in 64 during their final tour. Why would they ever stop playing shows? No, the ugly truth is that greedy bastards like Beholder... Odd Tesseracts and other funded a whole army of music producers and musicians to imitate their style. How their sound evolved on later records is no coincidence. They knew they couldn't replicate their genius, so they started experimenting. You ask me how I know? Well, there's this dude going by the name of Magus, and he's worked for Blank back in the day. He knows his stuff. Beholder, Magus, Aqueduct, Odd Tesseracts. Okay. Beholder. Well, if these all connect, that's the organization. Cool. Uh, we could do something like this, maybe. This is really neat, man, how you put these together. I love this. Those from the Engineer Club told me to look after... You told me to look after getting ideas. They brought in 65 kilograms of explosives from Wellbottom and dug up one of the emergency... Weapons caches. I think Blank is bored. We trained them to fight the commies, and the invasion never came. 
Wellbottom and Engineer Club. We're still looking for a connection to Mainsail, which I guess is going to come soon here. Monoxides, Bone Wolves. We have Wellbottom. Okay. Mainsail. This is going to connect to what? Obsidian Eyes? And then... Then what? So is this... Is this pin... Useless now? I wonder? Oh wait, we're not done. Here we go. So this will connect to Tornado. And then this will connect to 7th Wave. And there's the connection. So Dean Mc McMacken. It's interesting that we could link him to the organization, but then we had to identify him as the person too. Leslie's microfilm was analyzed. We now have sufficient proof to show Fender that Aguirre and his interlocutor were corrupt. There is little chance that it will exonerate us from court martial, but at least it could buy us some time to act on Leslie's intel. The mention of Beholder Initiative is troubling, an international lobby group involved in nuclear smuggling? We'll need to investigate more closely. Uh, Duran's body ENG talent revealed. Faster body engineering. Okay, so that's that um, unlock that we're still working on. Now, space warfare documents we have a bunch of intel for. Collection of documents from both sides of the Iron Curtain describing plans and superpowers for militariz militarization of space. Uh, we suspect that more than one of these projects have been influenced by the respective military industrial complexes of each nation, diverting money from space exploration and science to military progress and paranoia. Okay. So, let's see if we can make any connections here. Here's Trouble Kid. And Tar Pit, actually. So I don't know if that actually helps us other than eliminating options. Right? We don't, still don't even have a connection to the talent agency yet. The area around Edgewater appears to be some sort of organized activity of some sort. Note that Alma Matter and Blank are nearby. We note a similar situation where Blank ran ops for GBU. However, we are unable to determine whether it's them, cooperative, or a private undertaking by Blank. Okay, GBU. Cooperative here. So, SAS and GBU are connected through here. I am recommending a reduction for the funding allocated towards Men in Black until further notice, as they are currently under scrutiny from Room 65. It would be prudent for us to keep our distance until further notice. Room 65 can connect here. At this time, in the van outside, observed an individual matching the description of Boreas entering the lobby. 1009 exited the basement and was recognized by Boreas. Hand to hand. Oh, blank. Yeah, okay. Blank exited the basement and was recognized by Boreas. Hand to hand combat ensued during which the enemy agent was incapacitated along with two security guards. Both our agents left the scene before High Society arrived. Now, High Society, we have a connection to right here. And here's Talon Agency. Boom. Got it. New agent candidate, bulletproof vest, and the engineering thing again. Okay, cool. We need to make cash. Deliver proof of Aguirre's treason to Fender in New York. We found Durden and Aguirre. One of our agents will deliver the intel to Fender personally. Perform a special mission to advance the story. Okay. Now, we can only send one. Um, where is Durand right now? Where is Durand? Hold on. We can actually see it. Go to crew quarters. He's away. He's in Kabul. 
Kabul. Okay. Durand, I need you to go home. We need to sort out your situation a bit. Let's send Canasta and Cable here. And we'll send Zenith to this one. God, we're just all over the place. It's so cool. Information from the informer Canasta's investigation talent revealed. Okay. Solves secret files faster. So maybe I should bring her home. I don't know how this works if we don't... Yeah, okay, we have no files to analyze. But I think that this is where we'd want to put her. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. We have suspicious activity in Kuwait. All right, now our buddy's home. So why don't we take a look at this? We st Actually, we don't even have the money to do it. Uh, we need 500 bucks for a new identity. But we'll have them available. Okay, look at this. We have recon. Holy frick. Enemy scout's going to increase danger by zero. And it will compromise people in this area. It's going to happen in two hours. If it's not going to increase danger at all, then can I just get this agent out of here? And not deal with that? We're at 320. Passive income is done. Okay, so what are we at now? Looks like it's just adding the hideout location. And I think I sent people away. Uh, Durand... It's almost healed up. I shouldn't... I probably shouldn't send Stony out to do much of anything, but does it really matter? It's tough, because it takes a really long time for this to work. Is there nobody else I can put here? I gotta bring somebody home. Uh, we have enough for his new identity, though. So this is where I will set up... Um, a new person, and then I'll introduce you to them. All right, guys, our first custom character, Casimir Kaminsky. Uh, interestingly enough, he wanted to be uh, Russian, but we couldn't pick Russian as an option, I'm guessing because, well, think about the time this takes place. So I made him Polish, but what's funny is he speaks Russian, so it kind of works out in the long run. Um, but yeah, either way, let's take a look in here. So this should trigger... And it says it's not going to increase danger at all. And agents are gone. So 320 should be okay. Deadpan. Sorry for, for doubting you. They just tried to kill me. Real fender. To erase any, any traces of the Beirut station. I'll meet you later at the, at the backup safe house. Oh, are we being forced to move? Our agents successfully or delivered the material successfully. While Fender and the team were on their way to Langley, they were almost rammed off the road by a hostile driver. Fender is now convinced we were right and decided to join us in Beirut. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Active beholder cells. Plus two. So this, something did change, but... Let's send these guys. Old hideout. We must torch our safe house in Beirut before it's searched by CIA spooks. What? Just straight up have to assault? Is this for real? Hold on. How are we doing in the infirmary here? Uh, Kaz... Kaz's heat is reduced. Deadpans is still up there, so that's fine. Uh, these guys are coming back, though. When they're back... Oh, hello. Apparently, Stony hasn't exactly been feeding the information to the conspirators, but it is double-checked. Remember we were looking in on Stony? We felt like he was maybe a bit sketch. Um, but he's double-checking the data on his own, as if he didn't trust us. Okay. Let's maintain surveillance.
Oh, so this is like... This is ticking up consistently. I'm just waiting until we get these guys home. Okay. So, who's all here right now? Grimoire, Deadpan, Gemini, and Kaz. The reason I want to do this is because I might want to switch some of them here. Grimoire, I could change. Okay, so we now we actually have three custom soldiers in. We've got uh, Kaz, Kazimir Kaminsky. We've got Hansa Hijek, Haida from Czechoslovakia. And we have uh, Alwyn Miller Rodatz, American. Lovely. Lovely. Happy to have you guys. Now, we have to uh, def defend our base, apparently. Torch our safe house before it's searched by CIA spooks. And it looks like it's going to be a big mission. You cannot use support and tactical recon has not been completed because we didn't get the option. So, do we want to use disguises? Or oh, we can't. We can't. Mission conditions prevent the use of a disguise. Makes sense because we're in our own place, right? So, let's see. Let's just remove everybody for a second. Obviously, we need to be out here. Who else is available? I think we want to just bring, like, the best of the best. Right? We go agent level. Let's bring Xerxes. We should bring our new guys. Ugh, but they're not even the best of the best. Stony, I can't bring. He's too weak. He's too weak. Um, we could definitely bring Canasta. Let's bring Skipper. And then I'm going to bring Rodats. And I'm going to bring Haida. So, why is it that we don't have Kaz available for this fight? Why is it that Kaz cannot come to this fight? What am I missing? Hmm. That's oh he's at the top. What am I what am I doing? Yeah, he can come. I just missed him. That's all. Okay, we'll bring these three just to get some get some new guys in here. Uh, do I have to remove stuff from anybody? Is Cable still in here? Yeah, so I think I'm gonna need Cable's stuff potentially. Just take this for now. Okay, Kaz. Let's bring you in here. You're proficient with the VZ-61. You take this. What's your magazine at? 20? You can take it. We have armor, which we're definitely going to be using. Boosters, lockpicks. I'm not sure how valuable it's going to be, but... We're going to bring as much as we can. Canasta will have a, have a uh, distraction available. We'll see if that ever comes up. Xerxes with that shotgun. I'm thinking we go armor. If we're going to be up close. Deadpan, it's kind of greedy, but he needs to survive. So I feel like beefing him up as much as possible is probably ideal. Rodats, uh, you're proficient with the Sparrow and the AK. AK gives us a, a lot of flexibility. And let's see. Yeah, take the 38. Take a bulletproof vest. Take a lock pick. And I couldn't buy that if I wanted to. Haida. Let's see. You're proficient with the MU-255. Oh no, sorry. I think that was just that that was new. It's my bad. What is your training in? What is your training in? B-76 and the 45. Alright, well. Let's do a shotgun here. This is 74 to 84. But a smaller clip size. But not by that much. So let's actually swap this out for a pistol. And I think that's what you're going to roll with, Haida. Okay, so we've got 
couple of things here. What I am going to do is remove one of these. Let's take a smoke grenade. And we'll give it to Haida. And, uh, yeah. I guess this is just how we're going to rock and roll. Okay. So Xerxes, Canasta, Kaz, Deadpan, Rodat, Haida. Going to try and fix our hideout? <laughs> and by fix, I mean kill everyone that's showing up. And we'll go from here. Wish me luck, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.